Now that's four kilos of tromboncino or zucchini um, that I've left in a drainer so you can see the size of the bloody things. Holy guacamole, they're huge! So that's a full size set of kitchen shears. <laughs> So anyway, the plan is, we're going to see what we can do. Can we make a zucchini meal? Okay, and so I don't mean like a one course dish. We're talking a three course full on meal. Entree, main and dessert. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. to show you the end result you can see, <laughs> you can see she's used that uh, I'll include the link for all three from the allrecipes.com website um, but I will show you as I do the two that I'm doing which is the soup and the lasagna and I'll also try to show you all three once they're completed I have two potatoes that I'm going to peel and dice two onions that I'm going to peel and dice and what I've gauged to be roughly the equivalent of eight zucchinis, which I'm going to chop up and dice. We've added the thyme, the pepper, um, the basil and rosemary. The fun part of that is I can run out in the yard and get some. I'm growing rosemary shredded, and we're in a little spice grinder. We're about to do the basil with that for five minutes to get our aromatics up, and we're about to add the stock, and then it just boils away. With the stock, we'll just let that boil away for a while. For now, that's gone for well over half an hour, which for zucchini and potato is more than ample. Um, so we'll just let that cool down, and then we'll blitz it, and then we'll add salt and pepper to taste. It smells good, it's like out of the blender. Now I gave it a sneaky taste test when I took it out of the blender and added probably half a teaspoon of garlic salt it's really good um, if you wanted to next level this bear in mind this is the first time I've cooked any of these recipes um, I'd add a little bit of blue cheese I think that'd be fantastic I'm waiting for the soup to cool before I blend it we'll start the no noodle zucchini lasagna I'll put links to all of these three recipes from allrecipes.com um, in the description so you can see all I'm doing at the moment is using a mandolin um, to get reasonably thin slices the big boy here this bit so you don't see that in a bought zucchini do you look at all that juice um, the big bit there we're gonna run sideways for bigger sheets probably worth mentioning tromboncino is actually a squash so when you use the big bit you need to take the seeds out Kind of obvious, but I thought I'd better mention it. I ended up with an absolute bloody colander full. There's big slices and small slices to fill gaps and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty groovy. Probably a little thicker than it should ought to be, but not to worry. Um, those seeds, I'm going to wash them and hopefully use them so nothing goes to waste. So the next step is I'm going to salt these and put them back in the colander where they can be draining while I do the rest. I told you there was a lot, didn't I? Holy guacamole, that's a sink full. Confident you can see the salt's doing its work. It's drawing out the liquid. Now I imagine that um, that's to get the texture right in the noodle when, it, when it's used as noodle sheet. We've hunted and gathered and collected the ingredients. Um, Kang Kong I'll use in place of spinach. The basil is basil. That just happens to be bush basil. Um, I'm cooking this one with meat, but in future, um, if this works as well as I hope, we'll probably swap over to my vegetarian tomato sort of meaty sauce that I make that's got no meat in it. That's our mince, just beef mince, diced onion and a good dose of black pepper. It'll fry off for five or so minutes. Five minute mark, I added a diced green capsicum. Adding the basil and oregano. Nice and tomato sauce um, oh, like I say I'm going to use my own in future I just want to tr 
try it this way for the first time I cook it the beaten egg um, 500 grams of ricotta and some fresh homemade uh, homegrown parsley mixed in together we're going to start the assembly now half the meat sauce goes in on the bottom oh that yellow stuff is just but half the zucchini slices I rinse them to get all the salt and liquid off the final product looks all right there's through the side there so when we crack that open we'll have a demo and we'll ask the terribly reliable chassis what she thinks about the cake out oh that looks all right doesn't it pretty she got up early the bugger she foxed me three cups of zucchini in that three cups of zucchini in that rosie that are you be. proud rosie well i don't know because we haven't tasted it yet we'll see this is the taste test she's cut a little bit of the spare so it's really just a quick check. Oh, it looks a business, doesn't it? Let's have a crack. Oh, oh, feels good. Mmm, yep, very good. Is it? Yeah, it's not as wet as if, because we use tromboncino, not real zucchini. Oh, it's very brownish, though. Oh, it's lovely. It's out, and hopefully you can see the steaming. Oh yeah! Here we go. Course one. Go, Zucchini soup. Shaz is oh, about yeah, to try yeah. it. Go, Shaz. Mm. Now she has to be truthful because she was a copper. Oh yum! It's delicious. <laughs> okay, so there it is. There it is. It looks the business. Now my one it has a little bit, I'd criticise the excess juice on the bottom, but we shall see. It's all about the flavour. <laughs> Here goes Shazzy in for the kill. What do you think, Shaz? Mm, delicious. Is it really, or are you I just saying no, that? No, I'm serious. It's really good, Andy. All right, Rosie, you're on. <laughs> Rosie can't lie, tell you her, see. Tell him about the pasta. She's had a bit of wine, so she never lies when she's been drinking. You can't post something like this. Oh, I can, Ros, I'm, yes. and I'm oh going to. Oh, my God. Okay. Here she goes. Wait a minute. Here she goes in for the kill. Oh. There's no poker face with Rosie. She can't do it. This is like the best one. Mmm. Okay, put, put the camera down on this, and I'll tell you. So you can't really tell that there's no pasta in it. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. The chocolate orange zucchini cake. Where's all the zucchini? What did you think, Shaz? It's oh, delicious. I don't know where the zucchini is. You can't even taste it. So four cups. Yummy. Don't get me. Rosie says four, four cups. Don't get me. Okay, so that's the end of our little zucchini food fest. What a cracking lot of food that was. It's the end of the night. The girls are on the couch. The wine's been drunk. Anyway, if you like this kind of self-sufficient living cooking videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the little bell. All right, folks, you have a good one. Uh -huh.